This time last year, Harry Maguire accepted his future layaway from Manchester United, with boss Eric Ten Hag happy for him to leave. Now Ten Hag has identified the England centre half as the man to rescue United's sorry season. Maguire certainly wasn't seen as so key last term, when Rafael Varane, Lisandro Martinez, Victor Lindelof, and even Luke Shaw, when United played a back three, were ahead in the pecking order. The ignominy of having the captain's armband taken off him in the summer and handed to Bruno Fernandes felt like the final straw. But before a proposed 30 million move to West Ham could go through, a deeply hurt Maguire wanted a 15 million payout from United and was not going to budge. Neither would United, and it looked like he was heading for footballing oblivion. The United manager said, We were always very happy with Harry Maguire, but he wants to play. He's a great leader, he's a very good defender, very comfortable on the ball, and I count all of those abilities. We have had problems with our defensive line, so he is even more important to lead that line, to make us play from the back. We are very pleased he is there, and we need him to get our results and achieve our targets. Unfortunately, United go into Saturday's 5.30 p.m. kickoff at Bournemouth with just one win from their last six league games. That has pretty much put paid to their hopes of qualifying for the Champions League and left them relying on the FA Cup to salvage their season. The sixth-placed Red Devils stand 11 points behind Tottenham in fourth, with just seven league games to go. Bournemouth will be no easy fixture either, as United found out in December when they lost 3-0 to them at home. Ten Hag curiously claimed yesterday that they were not mentally strong enough to handle those two games in such a short space of time. He said, It was after a very good performance against Chelsea in the week, and we were mentally not ready for that game. They battled us and we lost the battles. This game will not be different. That is the way they want to play, they want to fight with you. You have to go into that fight, have the conviction, and need to support each other to win battles, outplay them, outrun them. As ever, Ten Hag's problems are not contained to the pitch. This week, he lost his director of football as John Murto left after nearly 11 years at the club, another victim of new part owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe's sweeping changes. That follows the departure of Chief Executive Richard Arnold, and those two were behind Ten Hag's appointment. Meanwhile, Manchester United and Premier League rivals Tottenham Hotspur have reportedly contacted former Manchester City defender and current Fulham star Tosin Adarabioyo over a summer transfer. The 26-year-old left the Etihad Stadium in 2020 as he searched for regular game time. He has since found that at Craven Cottage and is now indispensable in Marco Silva's side. However, he is out of the contract at the end of this season and is thus available to sign a pre-contract agreement with any team he wishes. This has caught the attention of United, according to Team Talk, who are on the lookout for bargain transfers to help bolster their squad. Again, Manchester United could see outgoing and incoming transfers from Serie A over the summer, according to new reports. Inter Milan are eyeing up a cut-price move for Aaron Wan-Bissaka as a potential replacement for Denzel Dumfries if he leaves the club this summer. Meanwhile, Manchester United could pick up Juventus star Adrian Rabio on a free deal if he chooses to leave Italy in the offseason. Gazzetta dello Sport reported that Inter could move to bring Juan Bissaka to the club for $15 million, roughly half the fee they hope to receive if they sell Dutchman Dumfries in the summer following stalled contract talks. Juan Bissaka has made 13 starts for Eric Ten Hag's team in the Premier League this season, but may be classed surplus to requirements at the end of the campaign. Rabio also looks likely to be making his way away from Juventus when his contract expires at the end of the season, according to Goal. The Italian Giants agreed a one-year deal to retain Rabio's services for the 2023-24 campaign, but they accept that he won't sign another extension this time around. The 29-year-old Frenchman is set to attract further interest from Man United although they may have to fend off Eddie Howe's Newcastle for his signature. 
Man United were investigating Rabio as an option last summer. Serie A champions Napoli are reportedly planning an audacious bid to sign Manchester United centre-back Willy Camboala. The 19-year-old joined United from FC Sochaux in 2020, but this season has risen to the fore after the Reds suffered a devastating injury crisis. Lisandro Martinez, Johnny Evans, and Rafael Varane were all unfit to face Jurgen Klopp's team, so Eric Ten Hag placed his faith in the Frenchman. Camboala showed experience beyond his years partnering with Harry Maguire as he became the latest Academy product to make his name in the United starting Aubin this season. However, such performances in the heart of the Reds' defense do not go unnoticed and has attracted attention from Italy. According to Dot Sport, Napoli president Aurelio De Laurentiis is hoping to try and kickstart negotiations with Camboala ahead of the summer transfer window. It is believed that the Naples club are on the lookout for a long-term replacement for Kim Min Jae, who left Italy for Bayern Munich in the summer. One player who looks destined to leave United this summer is Anthony Martial. The striker has been underwhelming for a few seasons now, and his current groin injury appears to have ended any slight chance he could have had of earning a contract extension. Gazzetta dello Sport reports that Marshall has emerged as an unlikely transfer target for Inter. The comfortable Serie A leaders are understood to be discussing the potential of signing the 28-year-old on a free transfer, 